Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a haunted house. I take two fingers right in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left, connect the two with a straight line. I come down a little bit in from the left and I draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down on the right. Come back over here to the left and we're going to draw another straight line down, straight line over, straight line on the right, all the way down and connect. Right here in the center I'm going to draw three skinny rectangles. So I have one, come up a little bit, two, come up a little bit, three. Okay. From this side on the left of the rectangle, I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down and off my paper. Come to the second part on the right of that rectangle and I'm going to mimic this line, draw it again, all the way down, off my paper. I come to this on the right hand side and I draw a slightly wavy line off the edge on my paper. Come on the right hand side, we're going to do it again, slightly wavy line off the edge of my paper. I come back up to the middle and I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. I'm going to draw that line again, straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Right about here, I'm going to draw a straight line across, and then I'm going to draw an X. Straight line, straight line, and if you have room, put a little baby circle right there on the left. I come all the way up to the top, and on the left side, I'm just going to draw a straight line down, straight line up, straight line down, connect. I'm going to put a little skinny rectangle at the very tip and I'm going to draw one, two, three little curved lines. Now I come inside on the top. Right down here at the bottom I draw one straight line, make it into a skinny rectangle. Come back to the top part, draw a curved line over and connect. Little baby half circle in the center straight lines going around connect. If you have room, come up to the very top, draw a little skinny rectangle, curve line up, down, connect, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Come down to the middle section. We're going to draw a box, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect on the right, on the left, straight line out, straight line down, connect. Underneath this box we're going to draw a little tiny rectangle. Okay, right next to this that we just drew, I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. If you have room, straight diagonal out, straight line down, straight line in. If you've got room on the opposite side, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. And at the bottom of this one, we're going to draw another skinny rectangle. Now I come back to this first box and I draw a straight line, straight line across. Same thing on this one, I draw a straight line down, one, two, three, four little straight lines across. 
Now I come over to the left and I draw another box. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside I'm going to draw little straight lines all the way across and cross them again, little straight lines all the way across. And next to that, on the right side, I'm going to draw a triangle. And then I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. And underneath that, I'm going to draw another box, straight line, straight line, straight line. If you can, draw a little curved line, straight line on the inside of this section. And I'm just going to draw a straight line down and a little skinny rectangle at the bottom. And on the box below it, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, and another skinny rectangle at the bottom. I come back over here on the left, and I'm going to draw the same line, if you can fit it, again all the way around the box. Okay? Now I come all the way up on the outside Let's start up here at the top. Let's put a dot at the very top, and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, jump over, straight diagonal down, straight line in on the left, straight diagonal down, straight line in on the right. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line in, connect on the left, straight line down, straight line in, connect on the right. Come back to the left, straight line down to the very bottom, connect on the right, straight line down, connect. Okay, now we are going to draw some of the details. So the first one I'm going to do over here on the bottom is draw a curved line on the left, curved line on the right, Straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. If you can fit another one, curve line, curve line, it's an overlap, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I'm going to fill in triangles, triangles for the little faces. Okay? Now over here on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a curved line down, connect, come back up to the top and draw a curved line down, connect. And inside I'm going to write R, I, P, rest in peace. Now I'm just going to add some wavy lines going down, wavy lines going down and across, wavy lines, okay? I work my way up, and if you have room, we're going to fill in some eyeballs. So I put a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, go back to the left and draw a curved line, curved line on the right, and just a straight line inside. We're going to fill these in with eyeballs if you have room. Like right here, I can probably do one, two, curve, curve, straight line, straight line. I can fit one maybe up here. Looks like I got more room down here. Curve line, I mean straight line, straight line. Curve, curve, straight line, straight line. And I'm going to put a little straight line, straight line there. On this section of my chimney, I'm going to draw straight diagonal lines up and then put little straight lines inside for my bricks. If you want, if you've got room, I'm going to draw curve line up, curve line, bigger curve line, curve line down, connect, one dot, two dots, three dots right there. I'm going to put a big curve line and a skinny curve line up, connect, and a little wavy, wavy line off the page and back up wavy line off the page and back up and I am going to draw a skinny mini tree so this goes up on the left 
And these are the branches that go up and doesn't matter how they look. They're skinny and spooky. Keep going down now on the opposite side. All the way down. Connect. Now you fill in with little straight lines for the bark all the way up. Okay. And I think, oh, and I forgot my house. Hello. Okay. Now draw straight lines going across everything you just drew. Now see, these haunted houses can get very complicated. So I try to break it down if you're drawing one on your own. Just leaving it pretty much boxes and rectangles and skinny things and fill it in with eyeballs and do that kind of action on it. Otherwise it can be kind of overwhelming. But I have found that this one works best if you break it down into the elements. Okay? Alright, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the main sections outlining my house, I'm going to make purple. You can make this sections, these sections any color you want, but I suggest purple or green or something kind of different than just black and gray. I also did all of my outlines and skinny rectangles around the windows. I did all of these things purple just so that you can see them as accents. Otherwise, again, it gets very confusing on what you've drawn. So all of these things I did purple and I did my chimney purple also. Now, you could, like I said, you can use other colors if you want. Then the next thing that I did was all of my eyeballs, I did yellow. So if you have eyeballs and windows, do those all yellow. And then I came back in and I did all my window, inside windows, I did all of these yellow. Just so that they'll kind of pop a little bit. All of this is yellow, okay? All the way down. Then, for the main part, of my house. I did black, but I did it lightly. So this section I did all black. This section I did all black. This section I did all black. I found a gray crayon and I did my steps and my walkway gray. And I did my mountaintop blue. And a lot of times I'll use a color that doesn't really make sense. Just because, why not? Then I come in and I did my pumpkins, traditional orange, little green top knot. And then I did my tree brown. I left my gravestone alone left my ghost alone, left my moon alone, left my clouds alone. And then, again, using kind of a different color, I did green stripes of this green crayon that I'm not really sure what color it is. It says sea green. I used sea green all the way around for the background color of my house. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my haunted house, all colored in, ready to scare trick-or-treaters. Okay, bye-bye.